Soil provides the plant. 
soil provides the necessary nutrients for the growth of plants for the growth of plants in the children so we repeat once again it is the topmost layer of the earth's surface it consists of fine particles of sand and clay organic matter of humus and air it is wet and dark in color humus is the soil provides the plants with necessary nutrients for growth so the next one is sub soil what is the next one children sub soil it is the layer below the top soil so if it is top soil below the top soil the sub soil is located it consists large bed so large bit of rocks clay and mineral deposits so what all the things it consists it consists of large rocks clay and mineral deposits it contains water and very little organic matter it contains it contains water but very little organic matter it is lighter in color when compared to the top soil it is lighter in color it is not such brown as but it is lighter in color when you compare it to the top soil the roots of some big trees grow in this layer of soil the roots of some big tree some big huge trees where the tap root goes till this uh, second layer of soil which is sub soil is it clear so that what is said here it is the layer below the top soil it consists of large bits of piles of rocks clay and mineral deposits it contains water and very little organic matter it is lighter in color when compared with the top soil the roots of some big trees grow in this layer of soil so the usual red the next one what is the next one the third one which is wet rocks so the third layer of soil is wet rocks it is the layer below the subsoil so when we read about the subsoil we said it is below the top soil and you go to the third one what is it it is the layer of or below the subsoil it is made up of large pieces of rocks so it is made up of large pieces of rocks and hence it is called bedrock so that's why it have given the name as bedrock this layer does not contain much water so this layer does not contain much water it is quite deep inside the earth it is quite deep inside the earth plants or plant roots do not reach this layer so already said some big plants will reach the subsoil but here plant roots do not reach this layer because it is very much or quite deep inside the earth so what is said here children bedrocks it is the layer below the subsoil it is made up of large pieces of rocks and hence is called bedrock this layer does not contain much water it is quite deep inside the earth plant roots do not reach this layer so we have learned what we learned here so we said top soil it is the top most layer of the earth surface it consists of sand clay organic matter or humus and air it is in dark and what color it is it is in wet and dark in color it contains nutrients for the growth when you go to sub soil it is the layer below the top soil and it has a uh, small parts of rocks clay and mineral deposits and it has water but very little organic matter and it is lighter in color when you compare to the top soil and the roots you pick this huge trees which has their top roots so sorry top roots will go to the sub soil and the next one is the third one children bedrocks when you come to this bedrocks it is below the sub soil and what happens here here there are large pieces of rocks that's why it is called as bedrocks and here you can you cannot see the water which is not here and it is deep quite inside the earth and plant roots do not be or do not reach this part of the soil so clear children the next one what we are going to see is types of soil so the next one is types of soil soil can be of different types such as clayey sandy loamy and slip so here what are the things children soil can be found of different types such as clayey sandy loamy and slip so this kind of soils are here available and based on the amount of organic and mineral content so they are being segregated uh, based on the amount of organic and mineral content so the first one is clay soil in clay 